April was pretty crazy for me this year. I went to Sydney and then Melbourne twice and I also had my 21st birthday party. I forgot to put sunscreen on, but the sun's going down so hopefully it's okay. And while all three of those things have videos of their own, there were a few other things that I filmed in between that I kind of wanted to document. This is like a catch-up vlog. A couple of things that I've done from February to May, even though I know it's now June. What you're watching right now, this was the last day my hair was orange, the next day I dyed it pink, which I did on camera, it's in a video, so I'm sure you can find that and like kind of timeline this and realise just how old this really is. My hair is now purple, um, I now have a new kitten on my lap currently, as I'm talking. She's unfortunately not in this video, but I'm sure she'll be in future ones, and you can also find her on Blaze's Instagram. But for now, here's me walking Blaze on the last day of my Ronald McDonald era as the sun is going down. Blaze found a friend along the way. And then this one didn't really want to be his friend. Oh, you scared it, Blaze. You scared it away. This Chinese lady, she's behind. I know we can see her. She came up and she was like, oh yeah, I see your face. And I think you can speak Chinese. And I was like, yeah, you did. And she was like, oh, you did. And how? This is Vivi and her first time at the dog park. She's Luca's new puppy and she's so cute. I had to include her. And this was back when everything was flooding. This is so crazy looking back that this happened. And then just like biblical times, there were so many rainbows the following days. And here's my favourite thing. It makes me feel so special picking up Blaze from grooming. The second that he recognises me, you can see it in his eyes. He's just walking around and then he sees me. And he's like, oh. And he pauses for a second. And we're just staring at each other and his brain is like computing. And then he goes crazy and it makes me so happy. <laughs> So bright here. I'm just gonna talk while I drive because I'm running late again. Who would have thought? Me late in November. But um, I did an oopsies the night before last night where I was reading the song of Achilles until like 4 a.m. So then I ended up waking up at like 3 p.m. yesterday, which was just ridiculous because I haven't done that in like months. And so uh, I had to force my body to recover from that. So I made myself wake up at seven this morning. And then I was like, what am I gonna do waking up at seven? So then my gym has this like bar class. It's basically a workout, but like ballet the themed? What's the word? Inspired. And it's like, I've done it once. It's really fun. So I'm gonna go do that. I didn't have time to make a coffee though because it was a last minute decision to go. And um, that might've been a mistake. You might hate me. Because of me being a dum dum yesterday, I ate one meal the whole day, which is so ridiculously bad. I don't think I've ever done that in my entire life. So I need to make an actual meal. I somehow managed to fuck up my sleep schedule and my eating schedule simultaneously in one day. This is my recovery day. I tried to take a video of me drying my hair, but I think my camera cut out after like literally two seconds, so. I think I've said this before, but I want to host a birthday party for my 21st, and I have never hosted a party before, so it's kind of really stressful. And my birthday 
it's creeping up. It's it's creeping up. It's in less than a month and uh, I haven't done anything to plan it at all. So it's time for the Facebook group chat to happen. Uh, I've never made one of these before. I literally like never use Facebook unless it's to accept this kind of invite. And now I'm the one making it. It's so weird. Okay, I just did it. I'm so nervous about it. Ah! Oh my god. And then I spent some time editing my Sydney vlog, which came out in March, so go check that out if you haven't already. And the whole time, Blaze was just zonked out on the bed behind me. Look how cute he is. And then I went to couch with Luca, Leo, and Cherie. Wow. <laughs> Hi, you're in my garage. I bought a new head unit for my car. It was like a hundred bucks off, which is still really expensive by the way. But my car sucks. <laughs> my current head unit is a factory one. It doesn't have Bluetooth. The aux cord socket's been playing up. So I would just be listening to my music from my phone or whatever and all of a sudden it just switched to CD and not be able to switch back. I don't know why. So I have been annoyed by this for a really long time, but I've never done anything like this before. I am very, very nervous. Uh, I got some... This is apparently all I need and like screwdrivers and stuff. It looks kind of easy on YouTube. Um, I don't even know how to dissemble this to be honest. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. It's like 2.30 on a Sunday. It's so hot in here. <laughs> so I thought I'd take you guys along on this monumental project with me. This is a big deal for me. Oh! I did it! I did it! That took me seven minutes. Holy shit! And then there's like bolts in there. And I think if I unscrew that, this whole thing will pop off. Yes! Oh my gosh, I dropped it. Oh my god. Why is this so scary? I don't want to break anything. Oh, I got this off. Oh my gosh, I did it! Why is this so difficult? The YouTube video said, it's so simple, just pinch and pull. I'm fucking pinching, it's not coming out. Such an awkward angle as well, how am I supposed to? Oh my god, I got it. Oh my god. Ow! <laughs> Yay, I got this out, finally! Now we're gonna open this one. There is a remote control, are you kidding me? This is too much. There are so many cords, let's not lose those. Screwdrivers. Wow, it's so nice. This is actually lighter than, oh my gosh. This is so much lighter than the old one. Back to watching more YouTube videos. So then this thing. Oh my God, I did it. I have Apple CarPlay. I did it! I decided to get Invisalign because my teeth were something that's been bothering me for a few years now. It's been literally an hour since I got these and there's like a metal thing that connects to the back of these. Well, the elastic and my right one's already fallen off. So we have to go back now. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I ate it. So that's fun. Here's me choosing my birthday cake, which if you've seen the video, it's not the one I ended up with. They damaged my cake the morning urban delivery and I had to pick a new one like five hours before the party. It was so stressful. When you speak the truth, people get offended. But you can live your life based on opinions Are you gonna get your little truthy truth out? Surgery day today, isn't it? I'm sorry Are we at the vets? Because you broke your front tooth off and now we have to get it taken out? Yeah! <laughs> Blaze broke his front tooth. You can see in the photo here. I don't know how it happened. I just kind of saw it one day and the vet said we have to take it out before it causes any more problems. So poor Blaze is going into surgery. He has no idea what's happening. Goodbye. I'll see you later. And so I was kind of really anxious all day. Like I know it's not a big deal. He's just getting a tooth removed. But I wanted to do something instead of just sitting there all day. So I decided to drive all the way up to Brisbane, which is an hour away from me, to go skating again. I haven't skated since I quit last August and honestly, I forgot how much I missed it. It was really, really fun. It definitely took my mind off Blaze, which was the point, 
but it also made me realise just how unfit I've become since quitting skating. I didn't realise how much I exercised during that time. I don't know, maybe I'll go back to it. Hello. The vet ended up taking the tooth next to it out as well because apparently it was in the way, so now my poor little baby is just missing two tooth.